In this session, I will show you how to import a command set uh, that you have saved. And this would be an approach you would want to do to standardize your command sets for all your personnel that are going to use Dragon to enter data. Uh, what I have done is I sat down and created all the command codes um, that we would use for a data entry form. And then I would save it, and then I import it into each of the other staff members' profiles, so my technicians and the other personnel. And then they go and uh, train their voice to the command, and then they can alter the name of the command slightly. For example, my technician uses a different name for a certain species than I would, and he would just alter the name of the command. But in the background, the code in the scripting or step-by-step -step function is this identical code you would require in the database. So I'm going to show you first how to import a set of commands, and then I'm going to show you how to save it. And what you should do is once you create a set of commands, and if you keep updating new commands, you should back that up by saving it. And then you can transfer this to other uh, machines that have Dragon or um, to other staff members that you're setting up profiles for. So under Command Browser, under Manage Commands, um, what we're going to do is import. So the commands that we create are actually global commands. You can see we there's the Klingon command we created earlier. So what I'm going to do is import a set of commands that I use for lake trout entry form for lake trout surveys. And you can see there's one here that I created February 1st. That's the date. And that's the person's name and the profile. So I'm going to open. And then I'm just going to import, and then that'll just override whatever already exists, just to make it simple. And then if it's OK, it's done. You can see in our global commands, you can see it expanding to a whole bunch of commands. There's A4, A1. Those are the lamprey fields. And these are um, commands for fin clip fields at the end of the record. Most of our fish are wild fish, so we have a default NC no clip. But you can go in and code in every single um, command for uh, different fin clips. And we use left and right and then front and rear rather than saying V or P, which uh, sounds alike in the field, or using more complex words like ventral or um, pelvic and things like that. So we just keep it as front or rear clips for the species we're dealing with. So all of the commands are imported. And then here, if uh, another staff member has just imported these commands, you can go in and um, you can go in and also edit the uh, sound so that um, they can train their voice to the profile. So if I uh, click on fat, you can see it's a step-by-step -step command for uh, a morpho type of lake trout called the Sisquet, but we call it a fat. And you see fat here, we just go to train. Fat. And, and then you would save it. So your staff member, um, once they import a whole bunch of commands, should go through and train their voices. And once they do that once, they're all set. Uh, even if you don't train the voice, it actually uh, probably will work. Um, Dragon is actually pretty good. Uh, as long as whoever speaks the word uh, says it somewhat in a consistent manner. So I'm going to show you next how to uh, save or export your command set once you have updated them and you want to back them up, or if you want to export the commands to import them into another staff member's new profile. So as I mentioned earlier, this computer is a bit old, so uh, it's got some memory issues. So I'm going to go to Tools, Command Browser, and we're going to manage it. And then if you click on the global commands here, you can export it. And I'm just going to name it My Profile, and then the type of survey form it is, which is LT Lake Trout. And I'm just going to put today's date, which is the uh, 5th. Or you can do whatever your command, and then you have it at a standardized location. And then I hit Save, and that's it.